Urolithin A is currently a pretty hot topic of discussion in the anti-aging and life extension communities, and it would seem with very good reason. But what exactly is this supplement, and why should we be taking it? Well, I'll be answering those questions in just a minute. And believe me, by the time we get to the end of this presentation, I can guarantee that Urolithin A will most definitely be on your supplement purchase list, because there really isn't anything else quite like it. Urolithin A is a tiny molecule that's made in our gut, and it plays an important role in the health of our mitochondria, and subsequently, the production of our body's cellular energy source, ATP. Now, although we cannot get urolithin A from food, certain foods do contain the precursors that are required for our gut microbes to produce urolithin A. These precursors are the polyphenols elangitanin and elagic acid, the most potent concentrations of which are found in walnuts, blueberries, pomegranates, and raspberries. Now, after ingestion, elangitanins then go on to be converted into elagic acid in our small intestine. Microbes in our small and large intestine then digest the elagic acid and excrete the compound urolithin A. However, there can be several problems that hinder this process. Firstly, only a few certain specialized gut microbes can metabolize elagic acid to create urolithin A. And unfortunately, a very high percentage of the population are known to lack those specific microbes. Now, although we can tweak our diet somewhat in order to help promote these specific microbes over time, and thereby hopefully improve our body's ability to produce urolithin A, there's no guarantee that this will work for everyone. And I'm afraid the problems don't end there. There are other factors that can also inhibit our body's ability to produce urolithin A. The first of those is excess body fat. The more overweight and unhealthy we are, the less likely we are to produce urolithin A. The second factor is one that we have rather less control over, and that's our age. Unfortunately, the older we get, the less able we are to make urolithin A. In fact, studies show that only 30 to 40% of the elderly population produce any urolithin A at all. And although the specific reason for this still remains unknown, scientists speculate that it may be linked to age-related changes in the microbiome. So what's the solution? Well, the most obvious is to supplement with urolithin A itself, as this will provide fast, reliable results with no need to worry about the conversion of elagitanins. The fact is that even if you are lucky enough to be a urolithin A producer and are focusing on eating a diet rich in elagitanins, you're still not going to achieve anything like the blood levels attainable from supplementation. Next, we're going to take a look at how urolithin A works in the body. Whether you take urolithin A as a supplement or it's been produced by the body from elagic acid, its effects will be identical. However, as I already mentioned, it will not be possible to get anything like the amount of urolithin A from eating foods when compared to taking it in supplement form, even if one had a perfectly suited microbiome, which is highly unlikely. After ingestion of a urolithin A supplement, it firstly acts locally in the intestines to protect gut barrier function and to reduce inflammation. From there, it next enters our circulation, where it then proceeds to travel throughout the body, exerting all kinds of positive effects at various locations. And those beneficial effects are exactly what we're going to discuss next. Perhaps the most powerful effect of urolithin A is its ability to improve mitochondrial health, and it does so through a process known as mitophagy. In simple terms, mitophagy is a recycling and clearing out of old and damaged dysfunctional mitochondria, leading to the generation of new mitochondria, improved cellular function, and restored ATP production. Which, since ATP is the energy currency of our cells, not only directly affects our systemic health, but also our available energy levels. Now, unfortunately, as we age, the body becomes ever less efficient at dealing with dysfunctional mitochondria. So if you're serious about anti-aging and restoring this efficiency by supplementing with urolithin A would appear to be an effective strategy in combating mitochondrial aging and the result in age-related decline in health that follows. In fact, these effects have been shown to be consistent across all species. Studies have shown urolithin A to possess strong systemic anti-inflammatory effects. Now we know that chronic low-grade inflammation is one of the hallmarks of aging. In fact, it's been termed inflammaging, and it's strongly associated with almost every age-related disease. So it's great news to hear that urolithin A actually functions to downregulate pro-inflammatory molecules, such as TNF-alpha and interleukins 1, 6, and 12, 
which directly results in the suppression of the pro-inflammatory pathway known as NF-kappa B. One of the early signs of Alzheimer's disease is mitochondrial dysfunction within the brain. Urolithin A can easily cross the blood-brain barrier, where it then proceeds to exert its powerful antioxidant, anti-inflammatory and mitophagy effects, thereby reducing neuroinflammation and improving mitochondrial function within the brain. So it goes without saying that urolithin A supplementation is certainly worth considering if brain health and dementia prevention are important to you. And let's face it, why wouldn't they be? Animal studies have also found urolithin A to increase learning ability, improve memory, and to increase generation of new neurons in the hippocampus. Additionally, urolithin A supplementation also proved effective at decreasing damage to the brain suffered as a result of ischemic stroke. This is the most common type of stroke, and it occurs when a blood vessel that supplies the brain becomes blocked or clogged. Urolithin A is produced in our gut, so it's no surprise to find that oral supplementation has been shown to promote gastrointestinal homeostasis. Firstly, urolithin A improves the integrity of the gut epithelial lining, which can directly benefit those suffering with leaky gut syndrome a condition where hyperpermeability of the intestinal lining allows bacteria and toxins to enter into the bloodstream, potentially resulting in several negative health conditions. Another of urolithin A's effects includes its ability to decrease levels of colon inflammation, and we have multiple in vitro studies showing that urolithin A suppresses the growth of colon cancer cells. And lastly, urolithin A has also been shown to protect against the inflammatory bowel diseases, ulcerative colitis, and Crohn's disease. Urolithin A has been shown to slow the rate of cartilage degeneration experienced as a result of osteoarthritis. Supplementation with urolithin A has also been shown to reduce the bone loss suffered as a result of osteoporosis, and it appears to accomplish this by suppressing osteoclast formation. Osteoclasts are known to be excessively expressed in all cases of the condition. Recent human studies have found that urolithin A can positively affect both muscle strength and endurance in older adults, indicating that it may be a useful tool in helping to counteract the natural age-related decline in muscle mass known as sarcopenia. Now you'll find links to those studies in the video description. However, I will interject here by saying that nothing will be as effective at maintaining your muscle mass as you age as will weight training in combination with sufficient high quality protein. If diet and exercise are left out of the equation, then there'd be little point in urolithin A supplementation if long-term strength and endurance gains or even just muscle maintenance were your primary goals. However, as an adjunctive tool, urolithin A shows real promise. We know that obesity can lead to multiple health issues including diabetes, fatty liver, and even cancer. Increasing rates of obesity among both adults and children are on the rise worldwide, which is undoubtedly the driving force behind the race to discover natural supplements that can positively affect obesity's deleterious outcomes. Although I must admit that I can't help think that until there's sufficient emphasis on public health education, I'm doubtful that any supplement or pharmaceutical is likely to make much difference to the general health of a nation. But for those overweight individuals who have now decided to focus on their health, urolithin A may be of real benefit, and here's why. Several in vivo experiments have studied the role of urolithin A with regard to metabolic tissues, and have documented its protective effect against metabolic dysfunction, obesity, and glucose intolerance. In mouse studies of high-fat diet-induced obesity, daily administration of urolithin A was found to reduce fat accumulation in the liver, as well as significant reductions in total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol. Urolithin A also improves systemic insulin sensitivity measured by the glucose tolerance test and plasma insulin levels. The study authors concluded that urolithin A shows real potential for the management of obesity and glucose intolerance, but that additional studies are required to clarify the most appropriate dosage. Urolithin A has been studied with regard to its effects following a myocardial infarction, commonly known as a heart attack. In a recent mouse study, the animals were divided into two groups. One group was pre-treated with urolithin A, while the other was the untreated control group. Compared to the control group, the urolithin A group had significantly less infarct size and better preserved cardiac function following an induced heart attack. Infarct size is basically a length of dead tissue that results due to inadequate blood supply to the affected area. 
Other studies also found urolithinase to promote improved endothelial function and to protect against atherosclerosis. So that's a pretty big list of potential benefits from a single supplement. However, in my case, I decided to include urolithinase in my anti-aging stack based entirely on its mitophagy properties, since it's the most powerful supplement available in that department. The next best would be the supplement PQQ, and I would in fact recommend stacking the two together for additional mitochondrial benefits. 20 mg daily of PQQ should be perfectly sufficient and highly effective. And if you want to take things a step further, then add in ubiquinol for its synergistic effects with PQQ. Now let's take a look at the optimal urolithin aid dosage. 500 mg daily would appear to be an effective dosage for most people. Study data does indicate that taking up to 1 gram daily may provide a corresponding increase in benefits. However, further benefits taper off rapidly as the dosage is increased above 1 gram. For that reason, I currently take 1 gram daily, split 500 mg AM, 500 mg PM. A urolithin A is very bioavailable, so it can be taken with or without food, whichever is most convenient for you. It's got a long half-life of around 17 to 22 hours and peak absorption is reached in around 6 hours. And by the way, it was found that age has no impact on urolithin A absorption or bioavailability. To date, no studies have yet identified any toxic mechanisms linked to supplementation with urolithin A and no side effects have yet been reported. So this compound can be considered generally safe. Certainly, the dosage is suggested in this presentation, the likelihood of anything other than positive effects are pretty much non-existent, and studies have used as much as 2 grams daily without issue. However, as always, pregnant or nursing mothers, children under the age of 18, and individuals with a known medical condition should consult a physician before using urolithin A, or indeed, any new health supplement. There's really only two urolithin A products in the market worth considering right now. From Timeline Supplements, there's Mitopure, which I believe was the first urolithin A product available to the public. We also have the newly available Pure Urolithin A from the aging research company Do Not Age. And by the way, Do Not Age have very kindly provided viewers of this video with a 10% discount code, and this can be used for any product in their range. Before going on to compare these two brands, I will mention that I did come across a couple of other urolithin A products. One was a powder product from a Polish company at a crazy high price point, and the other, a very low dosage capsule product from a relatively unknown brand using rice flour as a capsule filler. Firstly, from a quality point of view, both the Mitopure and Duna H product are third party lab tested, and both are biologically identical to urolithin A produced in your body. The 250mg Do Not Age product contains no fillers of any kind and it uses a cellulose vegan friendly capsule. While the 250mg Mitopure product is a soft gel which also contains MCT oil, lecithin oil, gelatin, glycerol, monosterate and red iron oxide colour. And of course both products will have exactly the same effect on the body after ingestion. 60 250mg capsules from Do Not Age currently retails at $79 while 60 250mg soft gels from Timeline currently retails at $125. Both packs are a one month supply, so the Do Not Age product works out at $46 per month cheaper. Both products are also available at a considerable saving if purchased on subscription. And in this case, the Do Not Age subscription works out $290 cheaper than the Mitos Pure subscription, and that's for a 12 month supply. And of course, you can save a further 10% on the Do Not Age price by using code RIKER. For whichever product you decide to go with, please share your experience and let us know about your results in the comments section. Many thanks for watching. And lastly, as always, take care, be healthy, and see you all again soon.